Hi, I'm Emma and welcome to Ballantyne Street. So the client's concept was really clear from the beginning. They wanted a warm, minimal, soft, natural palette. So we're putting down all new engineered timber floorboards throughout the whole house. And then over here, we're going to incorporate a new powder room as well. And then behind that, we'll have a brand new walk-in pantry, which is going to sit behind the kitchen, which we're going to push the existing one forward to create a bit more space. So to allow a bit more light into this big living area as well, we're going to replace these stacker doors. We're going to lift them a bit higher to 2400. And then we're going to put in some new ones down the back as well. So we're standing now in what will be the new kitchen. We've changed the form of it quite drastically. So there'll be a long island here with all the appliances concealed underneath. We're gonna have a beautiful mosaic range hood. And once all these back windows and doors come in, it's gonna really lighten up the whole space. All of the materials are just gonna be lifted with all this natural light. So it's gonna look really great. Final week brings us to fit-offs and we have electrical and plumbing to complete. Now tell us what's going to hang behind us up here, Em. A beautiful, minimal, long black pendant from About Space. Absolutely. And then to accompany that from our beautiful friends down at ABI, as you can see, we're ready to go. Little combo, About Space, ABI, tapware to set it off and bring it home. One of my favourite features is the Long Island bench. Not only is it aesthetically beautiful, but it's also very multifunctional. You've got your traditional features such as your washing zone at one end, and then you still have ample space in the middle for prep work. And at the very far end, we have an alternative workspace. So we've added in GPOs underneath the bench top with USB ports. So on this job, Stevie T was our construction manager and Bexy Baby was our site supervisor. All right, Bex, what was your favourite part of the construction, mate? Favourite part was, I think, the flooring. Flooring was, was a nice one to get through. Cheeky plug to woodcut. Yeah, yeah, woodcut, very nice. So the flooring was originally some smaller, warmer tone planks with a lot of knots to them, which the clients didn't love. So we've changed it up and put in some new engineered boards, which are a wider plank and have a, a lighter tone to them. Apart from the beautiful kitchen, I like the way the windows are turned out, looking very good. One of the key design considerations was making sure that this kitchen layout flowed nicely with the living and the dining area. And another big consideration was making sure that that fridge stayed accessible to the kitchen bench space as well as the pantry that we have behind. So another one of my favourite design features of this kitchen is the tiled range hood. It's a nice architectural feature and it runs all the way to the ceiling so it draws your eyes upwards and brings you towards that skylight. The butler's pantry is a great way to conceal mess, especially for our clients. They have a young baby, so it's going to be really handy for them to be able to conceal everything behind this main kitchen wall. Some additional features we have, we've got a lot of wine storage in the pantry as well, and we have a hidden bar fridge underneath, which is also really great for new parents. Powder rooms allow us to have a bit of fun. In this cute small space, we've added a powder blue wall hung Nuco basin with a pill shaped mirror. So working with the original external shape of the building, we had to fit in a laundry and a study and find room for more storage. So we divided the laundry and the study and allowed a linen cupboard accessible to the main hallway. Over here we've got the existing pantry and the laundry and we're going to cut that out and replace it with a brand new laundry on the left and a new study on the right which is going to have a nice new openable window. 
and I'll let a light come through. So we're standing in what was once the pantry, is now the laundry. All the walls have been plastered up, so you can see the size of it. Next to go in will be all of the joinery and the bench top for the laundry and the basin and all the plumbing and fixtures at the moment. We've got the tiles down and the beautiful skylight above has been plastered out. So you can see that that's gonna be a real feature. Got one week to go till we finish. Pretty much what's left in the laundry, we've got to tile this whole splashback wall with white Kit Kat tile, which will add a lot of nice texture in here, especially with this open skylight flooding all the light in. It's gonna really grab and pick up on all the little textures we've got going on. So we're standing in the new study. It's almost complete, just a few small finishing touches. My favorite part of the study is this huge openable window we have here. It's gonna make working in here an absolute breeze for the client and a huge contrast to what he has at the moment. So I'm really excited for them. So the study was a really important part of this design because our clients work from home. They're also working in a very poorly lit study space. So key design features were allow a lot of natural light and we wanted to add warmer wall lights as well so that they can use the space throughout all hours of the day. I particularly love the bench seat in this study. It provides additional storage as well as an element of comfort and coziness. So we were able to pair our feature walls in the study with the doors. How did that go to install, Bexy? It was really good. Yeah, everything lines up nicely. We matched the profile of the doors and the VJ. So the laundry was originally a pantry, which was really dark. So when we converted it to the laundry, we decided to add in a skylight. This allowed a lot of natural light, but it also allowed us to utilise a lot of the wall space where we were able to fit in all the joinery, all the bench space, a sink and a stacked washer and dryer. A really unique feature to the laundry is the sage suede hanging rail we have. It's nice to be able to have somewhere where you can hang your clothes inside. I really enjoyed working on this renovation. The clients were really lovely. Another full house renovation done.